Anyway, we're heading to Germany today. We have a free day in Germany. And if you want to know how we got a free day in Germany, stay tuned to the end. Oh yeah. Hey, hey you guys. Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in Germany. Oh yeah, doing the romantic road. And right now, we're in Rothenburg. I think I'm saying that right? Sure, yeah. How's it supposed to be said? It, it's good. Anyway, <laughs> if you're uh, new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here watching every Thursday, we greatly appreciate you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy, enjoy the, the journey. journey. Where are we at, April? Germany! Yeah! Just outside of Frankfurt. Melspen, no, Meshbelbrunn. Yeah, Meshbelbrunn exactly. Castle. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to call it. <laughs> so, if her German's no good, that's what four years of American school get you. Hey, that was 20 <laughs> years ago. Plus two, some, don't forget, two semesters in college. Oh, yeah. But that was 20 years ago, so... Please forgive my German. I've lost a lot. It's kind of frustrating. Well, we made it to the outside of the castle. Unfortunately, it's closed. It's closed. It only opens on Saturdays in the winter. Well, I don't know if that's what they said, but if you wanna. That's what my German said. Unlock it so I can hold on my window. Yeah, you'll be fine. Okay. You're fine. So we've been driving on the romantic road out in Germany, and we're in the town of Rothenburg, right? Rothenburg Old Bell Tower. It is this really cool, ancient German town. You ever think you'd get to Germany? Check out these little towns after all those years of taking German. And after all these years of not getting here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find some food. Starving. Right? I'm in Germany. That is pretty friggin' surreal. Yes. I have dreamt of this day since I was young. Since even pre high school German. What? I've all yeah, I've always wanted to come here. With a Croatian shirt on? Yep. <laughs> All y'all out there. All y'all out there. You can make your dreams come true. Even if you have to wait 20 plus years, you can still make it come true. Never give up. Never surrender. Thank you for living life. Exactly. Doing this 
special German ladies, uh, lady in waiting's walk. Oh yeah, I'm keeping that swag. I this can is, see it now. This is the Wayne Berg walk. It's not the Wayne Berg walk. Yeah, it is. It's not the Wayne Berg walk. Yeah, it is. Put your arms out. And your feet. Kind of, kind of bow legged a little bit. <laughs> Why don't you do the penguin walk like you do? Oh, you get enough of that footage. <laughs> <laughs> Check out these local German beers that we have. <laughs> oh, that's tasty. I'm going to share us a little uh, German sausage and sauerkraut. sauerkraut with some potatoes. Boiled potatoes. When in Germany, eat German. How do, how do you pronounce the name of the restaurant? Baumeister House. Baumeister House? Yeah. Thank you. Baumeister House. House. And then there's Wayne who puts his twang on it. Baumeister House? No, yeah. Baumeister House. That's exactly what I said. Baumeister House? That's exactly what I said. Because I'm twang from the swamps of Jacksonville. You're just jealous. That you have such a twangy accent? Yeah, because you're not really from the South. I am. You're from Orlando. That's not even Florida. Oh, sauerkraut is divine. My grandma's sauerkraut was still better. She was from Germany? No, she was from Poland. Other grandma. You have two grandparents. Oh. <laughs> She was from Germany. Which one? My dad's mom. Oh. So Baragus from Germany. It was von Helmberg. Oh, but what? they changed it because they moved to a Jewish neighborhood in World War II when they came over from Germany. This is just a different kind of sauerkraut. If we went to the north, they would have a different kind as well. Yeah, so hers, hers had apples and cinnamon in it. Interesting. It was like sweet and vinegary at the same time. Yeah, it was never had anything like it ever again. I've tried making it, didn't come out right. The mustard and sauerkraut is good. Yeah, but it's a boiled potato. Not supposed to be all that. Yeah, this is a traditional dish. Was good. Just got done eating lunch. Had uh, a beer. April had a beer. Local German beer, of I, course. I only had three fourths of it. He drank all, all the rest. She didn't want it all. That's I not had... true. I was sharing. I was being generous. Well, okay. because I know how you like to chug beer. I don't chug beer. I just sip on beer. No, you chug it, and I want to save room for the bakery. Anyway. We had uh, split a sausage, sauerkraut, and potato lunch. It was seventeen dollar, well, seventeen eighty euro, which is roughly what twenty twenty two. April's on a mission to find a bakery. Hard to make decisions with all that sugary goodness, isn't it? It is. Caramel. No, I'll, I'll get one of those, please. That just means sugar on top of sugar. <laughs> Be quiet. And then uh, see if I get mini, then it's not as big of a deal. And then I'll get the powdered sugar and the cinnamon sugar once. Strawberry and a vanilla a scoop of each of those. You're gonna die of sugar diabetes. 
Hey, April. What? Since you just bought the whole entire shop <laughs> of their baked goods, what's the name of it? Con Conditori Bakery. You don't even sound like you even took any German. Hey, uh -oh. Since we're in Germany, had to get on the Audubon and drive fast like the Germans. I didn't have enough tickets in Europe yet. I don't really understand the rules, but everybody's hauling ass. I've come to the conclusion what makes the Audubon dangerous is everybody doing a whole bunch of different speeds. It's really not the people that are fine. I mean, honestly, I live in Utah. Our speed limits are 80 miles an hour on the interstate. I don't know how fast 170 kilometers an hour is, but that's basically what everybody's driving at. Except for the 18-wheelers. They're doing about 100 kilometers. Just got passed by many minivan. We're in room 12, the Tiger Woods room. Nice looking uh, little room in <laughs> downtown Frankfurt, Germany. Do you want me to say something? Yeah, what's the name of the hotel? Star Apart Hotel. And we paid 99 euros, which is roughly about 120 US. More than we wanted. Way but... more than what we wanted, but everything's expensive in Germany. We're paying as well being close to the airport the airport and and a nice uh, shower with euro glass so when we bought our tickets to Croatia the airline had uh, messaged us and said that uh, they needed to change one of our flights and wanted us to stay in Texas for an additional eight hours for a layover on the way back Told him, ah, I really can't do that, but I'll tell you what I can do. I'll take a 24 hour layover in Germany. So they gave us a free layover of 24 hours in Germany. So we're gonna see another country. Yes. And this is my dream country. Yes. At the tippy top of my list. I'm only gonna get a little sliver of a taste, but I'm so excited. I wanna thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, Hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, Danke für das Leben. Thank you for living life.